Dan Moskal here, and we are talking about four tips to dealing with difficult people. I want to share these four tips with you, and then I want to share an example of a recent business partner I've had, uh, partners, and a lifelong friendship from uh, when we were six and seven years old that has come to a crashing halt. But let's go over these four four tips first. And the first tip is to remove emotion. Um, in life, you're guaranteed to run in and have to deal with some difficult people. That is one thing that is guaranteed no matter what, no matter who you are, no matter what the circumstances are. When you can remove your own emotions and try and look at a situation objectively, uh, it can help a tremendous amount in addition to that, trying to put yourself in their shoes. Try and see, even if they're totally irrational, totally unreasonable, just try and see it from their perspective. This will help you get at least, this can potentially help you get a little bit better understanding of the situation. And uh, just remember, one of the biggest things of and this is a hard thing, especially for me with many of my situations, but the way somebody sees you, the way they perceive you, that's reality, period. It doesn't mean it's right, but to them, their perception is reality, even if they're the most unreasonable, uh, irrational person in the world. If they perceive you and see you that way, that's their reality, and you have to deal with them, unfortunately. Uh, the second tip is taking the high road, be a bigger person. Uh, I'm sure many of these difficult people that you have, are dealing with, or have dealt with in life, you know, they want to insult you, they want to accuse you, or they want to, they want to attack you, essentially. And when you're the bigger person, and you take the high road, it will benefit you because you're not lowering yourself to their standards. You know, if somebody's insulting you, threatening you, accusing you of things, sometimes just keeping your mouth shut, not saying a word, <laughs> no matter how difficult that may be, can really benefit you. Because uh, at the end of the day, you have to look at yourself in the mirror, and if you stoop to their level and start insulting them or taking things totally out of context, you know, it just, <laughs> you're going to have to live with that, and you don't want to live with it. Um, so just sometimes, like I said, silence can be golden, especially when you're right. Uh, this doesn't mean you should be a doormat for somebody else. You know, stand your ground, but you don't have to stoop to their level and start insulting them if that's what they are doing. Uh, the reality is they probably feel justified, at least today, even if they are completely irrational and completely illogical. They feel justified. This doesn't mean three years from now they're going to continue to feel justified. Maybe they'll see the error in their ways. But today and at this moment, I guarantee they feel justified. If you start insulting them or lowering yourself to their level and criticize or you know, say negative things, that'll help them and enable them to feel justified about being you know, a less than rational person six years from now. They may always feel justified if you stoop and lower yourself to their level. Um, the third tip is doing, like you have to do what's right. At the end of the day, even if they deserve to be mistreated, <laughs> especially when they deserve to be mistreated and especially when you're right and they're just being, you know, living in a different world where things are upside down, the bizarro world, you got to do what's right, you know, period. Because when you don't do what's right, even if they deserve it, it'll still, you're harming yourself. You have to live with the fact that you didn't do what's right. And that is much harder than stepping up, you know, taking a financial loss or taking, you know, a time loss or taking both or a friendship loss or, you know, taking the loss and taking responsibility. Doing what's right will benefit you tremendously. And that's what a real mature man and woman do. They do what's right. You take a minute and you 
try to be reasonable, you try to understand it, you don't let your emotions get in the middle of it. Um, and while it might provide you some temporary satisfaction to mistreat somebody, later you're really just mistreating yourself. That's going to come back around. I've heard it called the boomerang effect. Uh, it doesn't do you any good. So even, especially when it's hard and difficult, you got to do what's right. And number four, the fourth tip, is learn from it. Learn what you can so you don't repeat the same mistake, especially if, it's, if you can avoid dealing with this difficult person again or somebody that is very like them or a situation like them. You know, learn the lesson from it and then forget it. Let it all go. But make sure you learn the lesson. Learn what you can from the situation. And sometimes it's just, hey, people are being people. Sometimes that's the only lesson you can learn. Doesn't mean, you know, you just got to let the rest of it go. Um, remember, we all make mistakes. You know, even, even, if, <laughs> even if they're the one that's totally making all of the mistakes, we're all human. We were all once a little kid like this little guy, my nephew here sitting on my lap. Every single one of us at one point was a nice, sweet little person. Uh, and the last thing with that is it's important to see people and humanity as still being good, especially if you're dealing with a completely Ill illogical, irrational, just jerk of a human being, the majority of people are good. Like, I, I promise you got to believe in the good of humanity and understand that this is just a situation. Maybe there's other things going on, but, you know, learn what you can from the situation and try to avoid it, avoid repeating the same situation. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get too much into it, but I had a recent business relationship fall apart between uh, me and a guy I grew up with. I mean, I've known him over 20 years. Uh, we, <laughs> we grew up on the same street, and, uh, I, you know, we all make mistakes. I tried to help him out and uh, go into business with him on a business that I had working, you know, I I felt like I was doing the good things, and, uh, you know, I'm human. I'm sure I made some mistakes, and I'll take responsibility for it all, the whole situation, because that's what a big person does. They take responsibility for any and every situation. This doesn't mean you should be a doormat, but you can take responsibility for things not working out better. Uh, so this is what happened, really. Essentially, they, <laughs> some folks would call it, and I'm, I'm just going to say it nicely, that they were trying to strong arm me into doing something that was completely unreasonable. So our business relationship went south, and I took the lesson from Dan Kennedy, a genius, who says, if I wake up thinking about you three days in a row and I'm not sleeping with you, you got to go. you got to get out of my life. And you can't remove all difficult people from your life, but those that you can, get them out as quick as you can. Be decisive about that. And so I had reached the conclusion that this uh, business relationship was not working and it was not going to work. Um, so I gave this individual and his uh, girlfriend, you know, here, here's our options for moving forward. You can have the business and buy me out, or I can have the business and buy you out. And essentially they chose option A, B, and C, destroyed the, or tried to destroy the business. And ultimately <laughs> they just cost themselves a lot of money because I would have been happy to have paid them a buyout figure any sum of money that was even an unreasonable sum of money I would have been happy to have paid because I knew it would have been removing them from my life uh, you know professional and I, the most important thing to me and I, I mentioned this during this stuff was trying to keep that friendship uh, and that you know sometimes most times things don't work exactly the way we want them to but I know at the end of the day I won't have any 
regrets about the way I handled this. I know I didn't take the lower road. I know I didn't insult or criticize or condemn. I have no doubt that 10 years from now, should they ever see the light, and if they don't, you know, no big deal, but 10 years from now and tomorrow and even today, I don't feel one bit of guilt about it because I bent over backwards trying to give you know, trying to solve this and trying to give them any reasonable way out, you know. But some people just think the world is out to get them. They think everybody's out to get them and take something from them. And, you know, that's not the way it is. And there's a lot of good people in the world. Unfortunately, sometimes the way people think and the way people see things and the way people perceive situations, they they make assumptions and Sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. And uh, like I said, I think the biggest loss of this is not any sum of money, not any business, but it's the friendship. You know, money's one of the most easily replaced things in this world. Friendships and people are, are infinitely more valuable than any sum of money. Uh, and at the end of the day, Like I said, you know, we all make mistakes. We can't hold grudges against people. We can't hold, you know, hold on to these resentments. Uh, My ex-business partner now and his girlfriend, you know, they're people. They made a mistake. It's okay. This is life. This stuff happens. It's one, you know... (laughs) <laughs> what was that? Wasn't it a bumper sticker for many years? Hugely popular. This isn't the exact same, but stuff happens. I mean, it's it's just a part of life. It's not so much about what happens to us. It's much more about how we respond to things happening and stuff happening. Uh, and at the end of the day, like I said, people are good. The world is good. And your inner happiness is so essential to peak productivity. So just as an example, if I had lowered myself or, you know, decided to, that my ex-partner had to file a lawsuit against me or something along those lines, that wouldn't help me. That wouldn't help me be productive. That wouldn't help me attract more money today. That wouldn't help me do anything. Because that boomerang effect, it would make me feel like less of a person, less of a man, less of a human being. Or if I had just responded with anger or you know, held on to a grudge or resentment or whatever, that doesn't benefit you. You know, I did, it it was an expensive lesson both in time and money, but it's done, it's over, it's yesterday, it's in the past. You know, we all make mistakes, I'm sure I've been just as, uh, I'm sure under different circumstances people could have or probably or may have even said the same thing about me as much as I don't want to uh, think that and really don't think it's accurate (laughs) but uh you know that's life this stuff happens this is all just a part of life and uh like i said you have to learn the lessons one of the in napoleon hill you know every adversity carries a seed of benefit one of the big benefits of this difficult situation in this business relationship being over and ending is it's over And it wasn't a lot of money. It was a small sum of money, especially compared to what this amount of money could have been. You know, if it it had been bigger sums of money, it would have been much more difficult to have been the bigger man, much more difficult to have, you know, stepped up and taken and swallowed some of the expenses. And this doesn't mean that you should swallow any of the expenses but because this was a small sum of money, a short business relationship, it had been, you know, I think it was three months, you know, I'll take the loss, I'm going to learn the lesson, and I'm just thankful and grateful that it wasn't a more expensive uh, loss or a bigger situation or something that was harder to get over or past. Uh, (laughs) And one of the let me leave you with a laugh. Uh, one of the funny things is, is uh, <laughs> like I said, I've 
and, and if, I, if I provided the details for you, which I'm going to be the bigger man and not provide all the ins and outs and the details of this situation or these folks' names, uh, I'm confident that most subjective people, if not all uh, listeners or people in the world would <laughs> would say, oh my gosh, wow, that's, that's incredible. I can't believe whatever the case... Uh, <laughs> Some folks may try and get God involved. I received an email recently from this partner who, you know, wanted to play the Jesus card <laughs> and uh, play the religious card saying, you know, all sorts of not nice things, to put it very nicely. Uh, anyways, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. This stuff's just a part of life. I certainly hope for their sake that they do see the light one day uh, because it'll help them no matter what they're doing. I don't need any apologies. I already forgive them. I don't hold any grudges. And holding those grudges and resentment, it just, it harms you. Think about what is best for you at the end of the day. And if this isn't a difficult person that you can get out of your life, you know, do your best to limit your interaction with this them and limit the amount of influence you receive from them we are all influenced by the people we spend our time with like it or not Uh, so really try and limit yourself especially if it truly is an irrational uh, difficult person that you know you just (laughs) there's a lot of them in the world and that's just that's a part of life unfortunately and sometimes you know these are really kind of tests for ourselves there are benefits and there are lessons to find and there are lessons to learn and you know this small little thing that I've currently dealt with or that you're dealing with and maybe it's a big thing you can take that lesson you can learn from the situation and make sure you don't put yourself in the exact same situation with a different difficult person or uh, whatever the case. But this is Dan Moskal. Please visit danmoskaluniversity.com. You can find some more tips to being successful and some characteristics of some successful people. And uh, you can also sign up for our newsletter. We we want to help folks uh, really get what they really want in life. And specifically, our business is working online. And uh, we've been doing that full time since 2006. Uh, so there's some things, you know, SEO, we've got some books over here at Amazon, iTunes, and barnesandnoble.com. And please leave any comments, questions, or concerns below. Please like this video and share it with your friends, family, and colleagues. And uh, it might not be the best to share it with that difficult person you're currently dealing with. But I promise you that, you know, these difficulties are character builders. They build character in you. And especially dealing with difficult people who feel entitled to the world, it, it, it'll help you be a better person any way you look at it. Uh, just make sure that you don't stoop to their level. Make sure that you don't let, don't choose the easy route and let your emotions get the best of you and send back a comment or an email or a phone call or a text message in kind. Uh, Sometimes, you know, just it it takes two or more people to have conflict. Sometimes it's best to just keep your mouth shut. Let them, let the other person, you know, throw their temper tantrum. And, you know, they're going to have to live with that. And whether or not they ever see that they were irrational and unreasonable, you know, that's up to them. But you know you didn't lower yourself. You know you didn't cheapen who you are. And you know you don't have to, that way you don't have to worry about feeling guilty about doing something. Or f- having any guilt or feeling any any resentment or animosity towards someone. Uh, so, inner happiness is essential to peak productivity. Bottom line, period. <laughs> so, deal with this situation. I promise it'll get easier. And I promise no matter what happens, you know, life... Please be strong and continue with life. Even if you are being the difficult person, learn from it because, you know, that way you won't repeat the same mistakes. Um, Again, this is Dan Moskal. Visit danmoskaluniversity.com to sign up for some more tips and check out some other articles. Have a great afternoon, and thanks for watching.